Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to show you what I've been working on for quite some time, mostly mentally, but there's been some physical work uh, done to it also. And here recently, I went ahead and I put the idea all together uh, just to see if it would work. And this is what I want to show you. What I've done is I've taken, um, if you've been following my channel, I've, I've taken the, the 12 volt battery bank of all different types and sizes of batteries, and I've put that all together, and I've made it so I'm charging my 24 volt system. And then with my 24 volt system, I also have that, which I must say, right now my 24 volt system, uh, it has all the solder on it. So uh, it kind of is the mainframe of all my, all my energy. So if for some reason I don't get a lot of solar, I have this 12 volt battery bank backup where I can kind of practically trickle charge it with uh, 10 amps at 24 volts to give it a little bit of juice. Uh, but I also have my 24 volt system set up connected to a 12 volt charger, which in turn will charge that 12 volt bank back up when it's uh, a nice sunny day outside and I have plenty of juice. And then there's also the fact that I have it where my 24 volt system um, can charge my 48 volt system. <laughs> so um, without further ado, let me just show you exactly what's going on. Okay, first let's start with the 12 volt system that I have. And here it is. Right now you can see that I have a bunch of just random 12 volt batteries and they are all wired up to this 100 amp fuse block right here. Um, this fuse block now goes to these two bus bars. So that way I can connect um, my my 12 volt inverter, which in turn is connected to a smart switch. And now this is how I turn my, uh, my battery charger off and on by monitoring my 24 volt system. And if it's getting low, then I turn on this smart switch and it turns on this 20 amp, um, I guess, well, I guess it's a 10 amp 24 volt charger and it is connected to right here on the positive and right here on the negative uh, via alligator clips. I just wanna say, do not do this at home as a permanent solution. Um, this is all just to test a theory of whether I can make my 24, my 12, and my 48 all work together to give me the most possible power and storage capacity. Okay, back to it. So those are charging my 24 volt system via all my 12 volt batteries down here. Now, on my 24 volt system, let's just kind of zoom out. Uh, you know, if you've, you've watched any of my other videos, uh, you know, I can have a link right up here, you know, a playlist of this 24 volt system. But what's actually going on to make it charge is Here's my 24 volt, 3000 watt inverter, which has another smart switch connected to it. Um, along with this being uh, hardwired into this panel right here. Now this smart switch goes back over to this 12 volt charger. That's a 30 amp charger. And it goes down here back to this bus bar. And now, so if I have plenty of energy, or if I have plenty of solar and I need to dump it somewhere and I know these need to be charged, I can click on that smart switch and charge up this bank with 30 amps. And again, they're connected with alligator clips. And these, uh, these connections, these, these two battery chargers connected to AC inverters, I mean, the, the losses I'm getting are substantial but it, it all works in theory. Uh, and actually it works in practice. I've been using it for the past week just to make sure that it, it does work. 
and uh, and it really does, uh, even though I'm incurring some big losses. Uh, so I do have some things ordered where I will be able to do pretty much direct DC to DC charging, uh, but I'm not going to be using a, your typical DC to DC charger. So um, that's in another video. But let me continue. So, like I said before, 12 volt is charging my 24 volt. And then when I have plenty of power, I can make it so the 24 volt charges back to the 12 volt. But I also have this 48 volt system right here. Uh, this is the EFG 48 volt wall mounted battery and the 48 volt grow watt. Uh, this is a 3000 watt inverter. And uh, how I have this wired up is just your typical 48 volt system. Um, basically, you know, the, the, the inverter is connected to the battery and I have a little raceway down there. And then I have some conduit going up and you'll see that the conduit stops right there. And the yellow line uh, is where I receive my power and this orange line is going to be my, uh, that's my, my AC out. And right now it's just plugged into, I just wired it into this plug right here that's just sitting here. And it's active and live because uh, I wanted to make sure that it worked. But my plan is to actually connect this to a manual transfer switch that's going to be connected to my house so I can actually have a couple of rooms in my house connected to off-grid if need be. But so here's the AC out of my 48 volt system and you will see that it is going and there is an outlet going to a power bar down here and this power bar it just has a couple of plug-ins. One of them goes, one of them actually goes through the hole in the floor up there and it powers my internet and then the other one goes over there which powers everything basically on this workbench. Okay, so you would think that the craziness is done, but it's not quite done yet. Because where I said, where I said the 48 volt, uh, the, the yellow line up there, well, it goes across here and it comes down here into this switch right here. And this switch is, uh, I think it's called a three-way switch. So I can either have my off-grid setup wired up. Uh, and what that is, is it is this line right here that goes into my panel, which is powered by my 24 volt system. Or I can switch it so it's completely off. Uh, or I can switch it so it actually it actually, it actually, I can switch it, and this is, and this side is actually utility power. So this is grid and off grid, and so yeah, and so this, this is my off grid uh, input, and this right here is my grid input, which runs again along the rafters, and there is a, a junction box right over there, where I am plugged into a circuit in my house, and then this wire right here is the output that goes to the grow watt to charge up the 48 volt battery. And so if I need to, what's nice about this is that if, uh, you know, if I have plenty of sunshine like I did today, I can switch it to off grid. And, um, and when my battery is down to 40%, I have it set so as soon as it hits 40%, uh, it switches over to utility power thus being charged from my 24 volt system. And I have it set so once it gets up to 80%, it shuts off. Um, I also have that grow watt set so it can only charge at 10 amps from utility. So that way it's not stressing my, you know, it's not stressing my 24 volt inverter because again, there are other things plugged into it and I don't want to uh, overload this this circuit but then again if uh 
you know, if it's super cloudy outside and uh, I need to be able to charge my 48 volt system, I can just switch this over to utility and, uh, and then my house is what's charging that battery. So I just wanna say thank you so much for following me uh, you know, throughout this little journey of mine and, uh, and, watching, you know, and watching me do these videos that I do. I really appreciate it. It really does amaze me how so many people like to follow my channel and uh, send me comments and asking me questions about what I'm doing and, and just my thoughts on, on solar projects in general. So thank you so much. And on that note, I just wanted to say, if you have any questions about anything that I just discussed, which is a lot, um, please leave them in the comments and I will talk to you soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.